awkward. Check this. I mean, international criminal court officials sanctioned by the U.S. Yeah, uh, it is very awkward. The other part of the awkwardness is also that, like, uh, the other part of the awkwardness is that, if I'm not mistaken, I think the very same investigation that was being conducted into, like, war crimes in Ukraine also found some uh, Ukrainian war crimes as well that took place. Uh, obviously, they're not going to uh, prosecute that. And clearly, Vladimir Putin or the Russian war crimes were overwhelming in comparison to Ukrainian ones. But I did see both of those. <laughs> I did see that when they were covering this, uh, at least originally when it came uh, when it came out, before they uh, declared uh, Vladimir Putin a, an international war criminal, which he is, right? But who isn't, really, when you think about it? Like, I would love a world in which all the war criminals are arrested, including Vladimir Putin. That'd be great. Uh, arrested and tried. Yeah, which, uh, by the way, exactly. The International Criminal Court issuing an arrest warrant against Putin while letting Bush and Blair, who killed over a million in Iraq, roam free is a joke and everybody knows it. Not only that, but also on top of that... Um, <laughs> uh, oh, God, that's a pretty funny one. Like I said... Like I've said already, uh, you can't prosecute any American resident, uh, active duty service member or diplomat in the International Criminal Court. We have a law, a domestic law. For those of you who don't know, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. Americans have done war crimes, of course, right? I mean, some might say like 90% of our foreign policy is just war crimes. Um, if, if it was, you know, the, the Russia invasion of Ukraine is like a perfect demonstration of this. We're like, yeah, those are war crimes, right? Like they correctly call out Russia's actions as war crimes, but like it's the same metric and America is doing it, but America is exempt. Now, um, the fun fact that I always love to bring is that uh, there is a law that we passed in Congress that dictates that uh, if we, uh, if an American uh, citizen, if any kind of uh, American uh, service member, active duty, or uh, vice versa, is ever uh, brought up to the International Criminal Court, if they are extradited to the International Criminal Court, the U.S. Hague Invasion Act will kick in. You heard that right. We will invade the Hague. U.S. President George Bush today signed into law the American Service Members Protection Act. That's what the uh, that was, that's what it was called, which is intended to intimidate countries that ratify the treaty for the International Criminal Court. The new law authorizes the use of military force to liberate any American or citizen of a U.S. allied country being held by the court, which is located in The Hague. This provision, dubbed the Hague Invasion Clause, has a strong reaction from U.S. allies around the world, particularly in the Netherlands. This is real. This is still uh, in, in uh, action. So, <laughs> maybe that's one of the reasons why you can't really do that. You know what I mean? Maybe that's one of the reasons why you can't really... <sighs> You can't really prosecute American war crimes in the International Criminal Court. So, I mean, there is no per there is no better there is no better demonstration. Oh, this was pretty funny too. Of course, this uh, pairs along nicely with this Pentagon block sharing evidence of possible Russian war crimes with the Hague Court. I wonder why. Perhaps because it would set a bad precedent. Um. And then lastly, international criminal court officials sanctioned by the United States. This was back in the 2nd of September, 2020. The U.S. court has imposed sanctions on senior officials in the international criminal court, inc including Chief Prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo accused the court of illegitimate attempts to subject Americans to his jurisdiction. Yeah. Um, how wonderful that this related 
Iraq amputee. I can hug my son with my feet. Related to this, okay? All of this is somehow related to one another, I suspect. I haven't even read the article, but, you know, wonder how that happened to that guy. Anyway, just one of many victims. Um, but yeah, the U.S. has criticized the court since its foundation and is one of... Uh, is one of a dozen states which have not signed up. Balkis Jarra, a senior counsel of the non-governmental organization Human Rights Watch, condemned the sanctions as a shameful new low for U.S. commitments to justice for victims of the worst crimes. Mr. Pompeo's move marked a stunning perversion of U.S. actions devised to penalize rights abusers and kleptocrats to target those prosecuting war crimes, she tweeted. Oh, by the way, the treaty uh, for the ICC has been ratified by 123 countries, including the UK, but the US, along with China, India, and Russia have refused to join, while some African nations have accused the body of being unfairly focused on Africans. Huh. Interesting. Once again, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Geneva suggestion, not the Geneva Convention, or any matter of international uh, law is merely just a, a, a weapon against America's foreign adversaries. That's it. That is it. There are no rules for America. Only rules for who America has declared their enemies. That's it. Um. So that's fun. That's fun. You know, fun little, fun little moment to consider here uh, when we're talking about the international criminal court. Hopefully, you know, they get they get that guy. They get they get that guy, Mr. Putin. I hope they get him. Abuses over the last. So we